اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمده و نسلی علی رسول الكریم سبحان ربک رب العزت اما یاسفون السلام علی المرسلین والحمدللہ رب العالمین ان اللہ ملائکاتہو یسلون علی النبی یا ایوہ اللذین آمنوا صلو علیہ وسلمو تسلیما ان اللہ ملائکاتہو یسلون علی النبی یا ایوہ اللذین آمنوا صلو علیہ وسلمو تسلیما رب یسر ولا تواسر و تمم بالخیر رب شرالی صدری و یسر لی آمری وعلو لکتا تم من لسانی یافقا و کولی صدق اللہ علیہ العظیم Dear all, As-salamu alaykum. I welcome all of you here at the start of the new session. And with the grace of Allah, we will complete it. And all our efforts are there to bring you up. And at the same time, I pray Allah that uh, all of you should go through the first prop without any hurdle and give good results in the future. On this very day, you know it is 18th March 2021 <coughs> while the Islamic date, you should also note down, have a pen and a pen and a copy in your hand to note salient features not displayed over here, if not displayed over here. So it is 3rd of Shaban, 1442, very important Islamic month before the Ramadan and uh, then we come to the introduction pharmacology department is well equipped department and have a good number of <coughs> highly committed people senior teachers then youngsters also they, are, they work round the clock to give good results. So, pharmacology, as you see over here, certain prerequisites are there while going through this subject. And if you have sound knowledge of physiology, and naturally you have because you are taught by a very senior world-renowned physiologist, Professor Hamid Javed Sahib. And also you study anatomy, these are the prerequisites, physiology, anatomy, biochemistry, and also analytical chemistry, pharmacogenetics. These are the prerequisites you should have. Or knowledge. knowledge of biology, a number of things, pharmacogenetic or pharmacogenomics, a various prerequisites. If you have better knowledge about those things, it would be easier for you to know about, to have good result in this pharmacology. Over here, pharmacology, the word pharmacon, P-H-A-R-M, Formicon. It is written in with C O N also with K O N in previous literature. Formicon. Allergy, you know, it is from gignosi to get knowledge. Formicon means drug. Well, the history of drugs. It is as old as that of history of human being. So here you will study about the drugs in detail various aspects of the drugs, they will be taught in detail by different teachers. So, how 
to cover all this. Earth. You know, it is a jungle of drugs. They are in thousands. And how to remember it is really difficult, but it's written in your big books. Yeah, they, they are divided into 70 groups. Because you can't remember all these drugs, and even we can't remember, so 70 groups are there, and from each group, there is one or two prototype drugs. Prototype over here means the prototype over here means the uh, representative. Well, the prototype <coughs> drugs, these are the representatives of certain groups and you have to concentrate on these prototype drugs. The detail of these drugs are to be remembered or to be read. And the other drugs are compared with the prototype. I gave over here one example. You might have heard about the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAIDs. In this big group, aspirin, well-known drug aspirin is the prototype and another one is the ibuprofen, ibuprofen, well known by the name brufen. So this is just one example, the prototype. Don't confuse this prototype with the prodrug. All these definitions will be taught to you, to you by your dean sub, that is professor, doctor, Sayyid Muhammad, Sayyid Anwar sahab. So he will teach you about the different uh, uh, drugs, now about different terminologies. So don't confuse this prototype with the, with prodrug. That means something inactive drug which activates in body. And also don't confuse it with prokinetic, prokinetic drugs. It, in, de in detail you will study it later on, prokinetic gut motility increasing drugs, prokinetic. So you will study this drug. The various aspects of a, of a drug, what you will cover here in this pharmacology, it starts from say the history of a drug to make attitude about the prototype drugs, you must have some knowledge about the history to make it interesting. Then secondly, about the structure activity and the relationship. So the basic structures, they are stud studied. Basic structures you have to emphasize. These basic structures you also study in, in biochemistry. So changes are brought in the basic structures or their side chains. So to make them more effective or to make them more potent or to make that palatable, just like different uh, changes, they are brought about by adding something more to the basic structures. So the structure activity, if the, I mean some change is brought in the structure, what will happen about the pharmacokinetic, just note down these words, uh, or the pharmacodynamic. Pharmacokinetic or the pharmacodynamic. Kinetic is about the absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion, while the dynamic is how the drugs act. Just note down please, pharmacodynamics, pharmacokinetic. So after structure activity relationship, you come to this another other aspect about a drug that is pharmacokinetic. This why pharmacokinetic is also taught in detail. Then pharmacodynamic, how drugs act. Where we will touch, touch pharmacodynamic, 
the uh, teacher will emphasize where the drug is, what system is more affected by the uh, drug or uh, what's uh, the site of action, how the drug is acting, uh, at what level, uh, at the organ level, at different organs or at cellular level or subcellular level like that pharmacodynamic. And in this pharmacodynamic, the drug effect first to be emphasized on the main group, say the we cardiovascular drugs, cardiovascular. And for example, you see, you are asked about the uh, one known drug, digoxin, digoxin, digoxin. So, so you will tell. Uh, how it acts on the cardiovascular system and what would be the uh, effects on blood pressure, on different aspects of physiology of the heart or that of the blood vessels. Pharmacodynamic. Then after that, you come to the clinical, say the clinical applications clinical application, where the drug is used. What are the different uses of the clinical or therapeutic uses of the drug, clinical application? And the main effects or the major effects are to be, are to be described or to be told first than the uh, less common later on. Clinical uses therapeutic uses, clinical use, or clinical applications. Well, after that, you come to the, may come talk about the other aspect that is about the dose and dosages, and that is posology, P-O-S-O, posology. Just note down, please, posology. So, you should know why what quantity of a drug is to be given, when to be given, after food, before food, or at bedtime, like that. What is the interval of two doses? After the posology, you may take toxicology. Toxicology, just note down, please, toxic. Toxicology, now in the recent books, number of advanced fats, they are covered under the toxicology. So previously there were, there were effects like side effects, uh, untoward effects, uh, unwanted effects. These were the different. No toxic, everything is now given in toxicology. May it be a side effect or it may not mild effect mild side effect may be there. They are all covered in toxicology. In case of toxicology, you will also be told about, uh, I mean, the, what is the acute toxicity if the dose is, you go on increasing the dose, acute toxicity, then of, it, of a new drug, then subacute toxicity, say for, for, from two to four weeks you give a drug, and then recent according to the recent literature. Then <clears throat> chronic toxicity if the drug is given from six months to 12 months. Now it, this uh, classification is varied now. Previously it was different. So toxicology. Then after that you may come to the uh, drug interactions, drug interactions. So you may have two lectures on this topic, drug interactions. So when two or more drugs, they are given together. So what would be the effect and what will happen? Drug interaction, two or more drugs given together. So are they antagonizing each other? Or they have got uh, this uh, combined effect at, at the known as addition or synergy, synergism or is there potentiation like that. These are the drug interest. Then you may try the 
Next one, the preparations. What are the different forms? Is the drug preparations? Is the drug available in case of uh, uh, it's a tablet? It is in, in injections or injection state, or it is uh, in being inhaled. So preparation, different preparation, different dose. So these are the various uh, aspects of a drug. Number of other aspects may be a aspect may be taught at different places. So it's just brief introduction about what you study in pharmacology. Uh, on different topics, uh, you will be taught by different teachers to to the various to the various extent. So after that, uh, you can see the different uh, slides prepared by my uh, my colleagues so first one is the here you see uh, zikrella you know zikrella and zikre beef is must in a gathering if there is no zikrella no zikre beef in the gathering it means some people they gather around a dead donkey they express sorrow and then they left the place so it is must whenever you you have a get together you must uh, you should have certain good purpose behind that how the billah in shaitanaji bismillahir rahmanir rahim so very blessing ayat mubarka bismillah here is alham sharif so if recited alham sharif for seven times so it's uh, good for health here is another supplication rabbi habli hukma wa al hikmi bis salihin wa jalli lisan asidkin fil akhirin so very good supplication added as concerned the faculty <clears throat> so but you have been told that the very senior people are there and they very committed. They work around the class, and by the grace of Allah, uh, students with even two to three supplementaries in the previous exam of uh, second prop, they clear pharmacology right and first term rather getting good marks. Mind it. Attendance is very important. University requires 75%, but at my level, you should have 90% attendance. You are becoming 100% medical doctor and not 75%. So I believe in that there should be no leave. If there is something very, very important, then you can have leave. Otherwise, it must be. If you will give us 90% attendance, by the grace of Allah, your result will be 100% in third prop. Here is one photograph specially prepared for the session 19, 20, 21 years. You see, you can well see your uh, teacher uh, in the center and around me on left side is your, another, the youngest professor of pharmacology, a professor. Mariam Rashad, uh, she is also a PhD, a very renowned teacher. And then uh, adjacent to that left side, Professor Dr. Sayyid Muhammad Sayyid and Mirza. And then again to on his left, uh, here you see Dr. Nilofar, she is assistant professor. And then Freya Zishan, she is also a P. Other than Abu Zar is uh, our product from Akhtar Sayyid Medical Dental say, College. So outstanding, he had outstanding result. On my right side, uh, here you see Dr. Paracha uh, previously declared the best uh, <coughs> uh, lecturer, pro giving the uh, producing the best, like framing the best lectures. And on the right side is well-known Dr. Aisha Iqbal. She is a dental surgeon. She will look after your teeth, inshallah. 
free of cost and then and here is Sara Zahir so she was with us went for MPhil again came back here to and then uh, on her right side uh, to Manur Zat there Manur Saeed and then uh, she is medical doctor then on uh, to her right is the Manur Slaudin and she is also dentist and here you see Mr. Junaid he is from Sharif Medical College he graduated by the grace I have got very good one of my colleagues is missing so I so you can see him later on once you will see him you will never forget him uh, so his name is Hasib here your teacher is sitting so basic training of your teacher is from army in 76 i joined army and work in hard areas of balochistan and so by the grace of allah i read to this position joint pharmacology in 1978 around 43 years back so remained in this and i have not not done anything else than pharmacology so it's a last blessing to reach after retirement <clears throat> called by around five medical colleges to join and i like uh, pro uh, dr Farooq Saeed Khan Saab. so and that was good for me i'm here for the last uh, around nine years and almost completing <clears throat> my tenure with the grace of Allah. A very nice environment to work over here. So, Professor Sayyid Muhammad Sayyid Anwar Sahib, um, so very committed person. So, I have thorough knowledge about pharmacology. Uh, so, go through all the things, your records, they are being kept, your all activities and they have always there to produce the best results out of the even the weak students they have pers personal contacts with the students and their parents and here you see your uh, most uh, uh, loved teacher uh, professor dr mariam rashid mbbs mphil phd she she was there with me in as as she was a student in uh, for, <coughs> in Azam Medical College. You might have heard about Azam, where I worked for 25 years. She was student at that. When I joined here, she was the assistant professor. So by the grace of Allah, she is <coughs> here. She worked as associate. Then she got this PhD and got promotion all the students they have got very uh, i mean respect for this great youngest young teacher one here you see two of my aps so very hard working uh, on right side it is dr nilo farbaraj so and the left free azishan her father was there with <coughs> me in nishtar medical college he was for around four or five years senior to me. So, I mean, all my teachers. Diamonds, here you see Dr. Pracha. You have already been introduced about Dr. Pracha. So, she has got command on the subject and you have been told that declared uh, to frame best lectures and to deliver them um, by the grace of Allah. Yes, one fellow who was missing on left so my left side, Mr. Seep Khan. So he has cleared that uh, exam, American exam, and in the middle is Mr. Junaid, and the right side is Abu Zar. Uh, Abu Zar is the local product. Then our dentist and uh, very uh, hard working both on right side uh, is um, Salahuddin 
Emmanuel Slaudin and uh, Sheikh Paul on left side. So they work around the cloud. They, all my teachers are available for your, uh, your guidance around the clock, but I hope you will not disturb them in odd hours. Well, this is a different examination subjects. Pharmacology is one of it. Application of previous, you have been told that their basic prerequisites are there. Biology, biochemistry, like that. Pharmacogenetics, you also know genomics, physiology, net me, like that. Biophysics, very important. So these are the prerequisites, not done, not written over here. Pharmacology and therapeutics. Therapeutic is an art of treatment, pathology, forensic medicine, toxicology. Toxicology, not only here in pharmacology, you study as a big subject in this. Uh, your forensic medicine, behavior sciences, given very important good importance. Here are almost 90% of the students, they get exceptional marks in behavior sciences to make position in this, in Punjab, behavior sciences. The result is never less than 99%. How the teaching is covered, how the knowledge is <coughs> communicated to you, uh, by uh, lectures, by practicals, practicals on the isolated tissue, also in the intact animals, for messy practicals where you study the uh, basic uh, basic uh, procedures for messy and for messy. For messy is also being taught uh, for five years by the uh, your another. Uh, by our other college over here, pharmacy, uh, that is uh, Form D, Doctor of Pharmacy. They study it at good length. Pharmacology is not only taught by medical doctors, it's taught by veterinary doctors, it is taught by pharmacists. Uh, it is pharmacology is, is studied by nurses. Pharmacology is studied by a physiotherapist a number of uh, different disciplines, they do study this pharmacology. You can't uh, live without it. Then there are demonstrations, clinical pharmacology, tutorials, articles, interactive sessions are there. So these are the different ways to communicate. Then, say around after nine months, you will have to prepare for your exam. On monthly basis, we have term tests and we maintain record. So you will stay regular and at the, say around one and a half month before your main exam or the like that, uh, one send up is, uh, and that is managed and you, it is must to clear it. That university exam, 50% marks are required uh, in stand up examination, your syllabus is divided into different parts. We will also co communicate that. Uh, that is, uh, and number of how many questions are from certain part of the <coughs> syllabus. Attendance you have already been you know, 75%. Best time not down to study pharmacology because it's a new subject for you. It is after your morning prayer. After just study a few verses of the Holy Quran and then study pharmacology if you want to get good marks, inshallah. Then definitions will be communicated nicely by Dean Saab and uh, the drugs you have been told that drugs are grouped, they are main 70, and a teacher should teach about the prototype drug and uh, also ask about them, except few important other drugs and their comparison with the prototype drugs. There is one part of the exam that is OSPI, around 35 OSPI, and most of my students, they get around 30 out of 35. Even if they don't perform well in the VIVA, they perform well in the 
us behind the goat loop. In your theory paper, you see MCQ the 65 mass, SCQs, 10 questions, internal examiner, oral exam, 30, and external. Uh, in case of ASP, there are seven stations. They just you, you are given a, a question to give the answer five marks for each place. And then also, uh, in case of that station, there are 20 for experimental pharmacology and 15 for your pharmacy. And notebook you must prepare and it is being signed by you. Internal assessment, it is 10%. Our total mass are 300 and, and your 30 mass, good student, they get even 30 out of 30, uh, but very poor students and uh, those who don't want to become a doctor, uh, they are forced to uh, re remain present. So even then, we try to... Uh, I mean, we try to prepare them so that they should become a good doctor in future, if not present. So in theory, 50 miles out of 30 miles, 50 percent they're added to your theory and 50 to your <coughs> this ASP uh, is written over here. It is the uh, your practicals. And internal assessment 30 depends upon the following. Here, these are the different. How the assessment is made: from tutorial, interactive participation, monthly MC, monthly test, oral test, term, send up, assignments given, work or attendance. Even attendance is something very very important. It is also added, say five, around five marks out of 30 for your attendance. Be careful. So you must remain ready to uh, in the morning to attend according to your schedule of uh, this uh, timetable. Recommended pharmacology books. Here these are given according to the teacher Lippincott. Then examination board view. This examination board review you can study it later on, but the main catsung must be studied at least three or four uh, chapters initial for a uh, student, uh, for good student, they must study bigger way. Pharmacology, main pharmacology, this gets in, and make their own notes if they want to get first position in Punjab. And then there is pre-test pharmacology, also USMLE, yeah, their one book. And uh, so from time, which has to be studied. Photographs are required. You must please send it to your teacher. Bio data forms after restarting a physical classes. They are also we are we meant punctuality is very well. Student should be clean and neat, and he must be ready online uh, if. They, he is being checked. So, physical classes. Please keep your pharmacology book with you, with you during theory classes and practical notebook during practical classes. Pharmacology, here is the pharmacology. Branch of science, you have been told what is pharmacology, what you have. History, source, physical, chemical, bio. Is absorption, distribution, virus, formation, excretion of drugs is pharmacokinetic. Again, not. <clears throat> and uh, then, and here, biochemical and physiological effects on the biochemistry, biochemistry of human, then physiological effects, in including toxic effects, therapeutic, and other uses you have already been told about. And how the drugs act, pharmacodynamic. Again, not turned, please. Pharmacodynamic.